Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to talk about data sources in Terraform. So data sources are just like another entity, like resources in Terraform. So with resources, you can build up any resource in your AWS or Azure from ground up. Using the data sources, what you can do is you can fetch the information about that particular resource. So data sources actually are helpful in fetching the information about the resources that you haven't built using Terraform. So maybe that resource can be outside of your Terraform configuration or maybe that resource may be outside of your current Terraform configuration and you want to fetch the data uh, information about a resource that is built using some other Terraform configuration, right? So using the data sources, you can do that. So for an example, let's say you have built an AMI using AWS console but you want to use that AMI in your Terraform configuration. So using the data source, you can fetch the information about that particular AMI and use it in your Terraform configuration. So I'll show you an example, what exactly I mean. So as you can see, I'm on the data, data source, uh, sorry, Terraform uh, documentation page, right? So if we go to EC2, so I'm already on EC2. So you see it has two entities, resources. And if you go down below, you see data sources right so with resources you can build these particular resource from ground up like any resource you take for aws like aws underscore instance where it is yeah here it is so you can build an instance using this right but with data source what you can do is you can fetch an information about particular resource so like aws underscore ami so you can fetch information about any ami using this data source right so you can see this is how it is defined so i'll show you an example on the console itself but you can go through this documentation so i'll put the link in the description so you can just go through and what exactly is it's doing is it's basically querying the amis and then it's applying some filters like the ami name should be of this uh, format like starting with my ami and after that it can be any alphanumeric character then it's applying the second filter that the root device type should be EBS and then it's applying the third filter that virtualization type should be HVM. So this basically this data source is going to filter out. It's going to query all the AMIs and filter out only those AMI that fit in this these uh, uh, filters, right? So all the other AMIs will be filtered out and you'll get only the AMIs that fit this criteria. So now let's go to our uh, uh, console and let me give you an example so what i've done is i've actually created a bucket in s3 so i'll give you an s3 example so if you see this page you have data sources for almost all the resources so if i go down to s3 so you can see s3 has resources and data sources right so what i've done is i've created a bucket uh, i've named it data source verification bucket right now let's go to a console so I'm in my site projects directory. So right now I only have the providers.tf file. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data source .tf file. And inside this, what I'm going to do is data. So you define data sources with the keyword data. Then AWS underscore S3 underscore bucket then you need to give it an identifier so i'll say my bucket and i would say bucket equals so the bucket name so data source verification bucket data source verification bucket and that's it so now i have defined my data so i want to fetch the information about this particular bucket using the data source right so i've done that now if i come to my now i'm going to define basically my main.tf file which is my main resource file right and inside this i am first let's just do an output right output uh, let's say bucket name and uh, value would be equal to so this is how you query the data 
from the data source so you define the keyword data dot aws underscore s3 underscore bucket dot my bucket was the identifier dot bucket so this will give me the name of the bucket right uh, with output i don't think so we need this identifier uh, so i don't actually remember i'm just doing it on top of my head so let's see let's do terraform apply so if there will be an error we'll get to know so you can see it's fetching let's see if we get an output let's say yes and you can see it has actually given me the bucket name right so my resource configuration is actually fetching the data about a resource which i haven't uh, built using terraform so it's actually outside my terraform configuration but still i'm able to fetch that data so so now since we are able to actually obtain the name of a bucket which is outside of our terraform configuration let's try and do something with this name right so let's go to the documentation page again and see what we can do so why not let's put a bucket policy on this right so let's just grab this complete code block go back to our main.tf file let's get rid of this output and let's put this and bucket we are going to change with data dot aws underscore s3 underscore bucket my bucket dot id so we are going to leave it as is right i think this should work okay let's see let's just do a confirmation again so they have defined a resource bucket all right yeah i think since we are not doing resource of the bucket we are fetching that from outside of a terraform configuration and we are replacing that name all right so let's say let's see if this works let's do terraform apply and we okay so there is some oh copy paste resource alright so it says it's going to apply this bucket policy let's say yes okay so it's creating so first it will create So this is taking some time so probably I'll pause the video and come back once this is done hey guys welcome back so our apply is complete so there was an error which I encountered in the first apply so you see this it gave me a 400 error so the policy has invalid resource so the earlier policy which we were trying to apply the resource ARN was set to this right so this is not a valid ARN so this is the wrong ARN so I replaced it so let me show you clear the screen and go to main.tf file and I replaced it with this particular block so what I'm going and what I'm doing is basically I'm just fetching the ARN of the bucket using the data source again right 
so the bucket which I've created uh, the data source verification bucket so I'm just fetching that ARN using this and I'm passing it into the resource right so the apply is complete and it is successful over here if you can see so it barely took any time in the second apply and let's go to our AWS console and let's go to a bucket go to permissions go to bucket policy and you can see that this policy is applied on our bucket all right so yeah this is it for this video guys this is what i wanted to show you how to use data sources so data sources are very helpful when you are creating complex uh, terraform templates terraform configurations so they actually are very helpful in fetching a lot of information which is outside your terraform configuration like ami ids so mostly you will see people using data sources to fetch ami ids which they have built using some other tool right maybe say which is not inside their terraform configuration maybe they've used packer or some ci cd tool to build that ami and now they want to fetch the ami ids into their existing terraform configuration so you would see that a lot of people doing that right so yeah this is it for this video guys i hope you liked the video i hope you learned something new please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching